Oh, yeah, they got a photo session, all right. The GMs do one, too, now. Do they? Yes, but we'll be breaking down the colors. A lot of blue blazers later. in that one. A lot, of, and brass buttons, too. I'm sure they're talking a lot about Odell Beckham Jr. down there. I would be. The addition of Endowment and Sue. All of that going on right now in Orlando Live. That's where we find our guy, Peter Schrager, with Kyle Shanahan, maybe talking about what he learned in his first year as the head coach of the Niners. Kyle, you wake up this morning and it's news that the Rams have signed and Dominican Sue in addition to Tlaib and Peters. And you know Sean, obviously, but yeah. it's almost like everyone's just loading up with talent. When you wake up and see that as a Niners head coach in the division, what's your response? Um, it is what it is. I mean, he's a good player. Um, there's a lot of good players in this league. Um, I know one of the best is there, too, with Donald, so it's going to be a huge challenge. I was messing with Sean last night about it, but... Um, you know, I'm sure they're going to draft some more good ones also. But it's, you know, we're, we plan on improving our team, which I think we've done. And um, I think it's going to be a challenge this year. I think it's going to be a challenge for years to come, and we look forward to it. How good is this rivalry right now? I know you guys finished 6-10, and 10, so on paper. But to come and finish the season the way you did with them winning the division, feels like Rams-Niners is something again in the NFL. I think we got four good teams in our division. You know, I know Arizona and Seattle have been at it for a while, and I'm not going to act like they're not going to be there every year also. we got you know, there's four good organizations, um, good coaches, good players, and uh, it's a tough division to be in, but uh, it makes it more fun also. I think the signing of Jarek McKinnon in league circles was, okay, that makes sense, but sometimes around the league, maybe in the media and maybe at home and outside the markets of where he played, people kind of raised their eyebrows and said, well, wait a second, who's this guy? How much is he making? And everyone said, well, this is a guy that Kyle Shanahan really wanted. So what does Jarek McKinnon bring to the 49ers that the fan at home who maybe did not watch him in Minnesota knows about? Well, we, we looked in all the running backs and free agents, and we thought he was a top guy. And so that was who we targeted, and um, we were happy to get him. And you go through it, and you target the top guy, and you do what you got to do to get him. And uh, that's what the market was for him. So uh, we're excited to have him. Uh, we think he's going to be a very good running back for us. Um, people talk about him being a third down back, which he is. He's a very good third down back, and we plan on using him that way. Um, I also think he's a good first and second down back, too. So uh, we're pumped to have him. And, you know, I think when it comes to free agency, um, you got to target who you want. And the market gets set, and you go get them. And my philosophy on free agency, if, you know, if you're getting a good person, a guy who works hard, uh, who practices hard, plays hard, um, is really the same way every day. And, then you're, you're usually going to make a good decision. And the homework we've done on Jarek and the type of guy he is, uh, the type of talent we can see on tape from his NFL days back to his college, um, we're very excited about the person and player we got. Seeing the hysteria around Cousins and Keenum and Bradford and all those guys, how important was it for you guys to get done the Garoppolo deal before even the combine and just have that set so you can now build your team from there? It was very important. You know, after the way Jimmy played at the end of the year, I mean, uh, we didn't know it right when we got him, but we quickly solved about two to three games into it that uh, we had to make sure to get this done right away because uh, he played at such a high level for us. We loved the guy in the building, uh, the way he handled himself. Our players loved him, coaches loved him, and then I think everyone saw how he played. So the sooner you can get something done like that, the easier it is to where uh, you can set everything else up, go for your other targets. and. We knew it would get done. Um, you know, when you got two sides who want to get something done, it uh, usually happens, and it was a credit to their side and our side that they were able to get it done before free agency started. We've heard a lot about the, the meeting between John Lynch and Parag and Sherman and his fiance, but the dinner the night before, there hasn't been many details shared, at least the, the, the actual how it got set up and everything. Can you just kind of go through those? I guess eight hours from when he's released to the fact he's at dinner with you that night. Um, yeah, we, we, you know, we had an idea he was getting released, and we had to wait till 12.01 till it was official to where we could call him. And at 12.01, we called him, and fortunately, he was in Vegas, which is only about a 45-minute hour flight from us. So um, <clears throat> he wanted to do this fast, so did we. So uh, I had never met him before, so I wanted to spend some time with him. So him and his fiance Ashley, they flew up. They met my wife and I at dinner on that Friday night, just a few hours after I talked to him. And... We had a good dinner, um, probably were there about three or four hours, and uh, talked, a lot of, a lot, talked about a lot of stuff. He remembered so many plays against them, which um, I remembered him too, and was, we really enjoyed each other, and i um, pumped to have him on our team. Coming off that press conference. Great stuff there from Kyle Shanahan, of course, adding uh, Richard Sherman. But Jimmy Garoppolo is going to have his hands full with Aqib Tlaib and Marcus Peters twice a year. Now the addition of Sue. The NFC West, one of the more intriguing divisions in this sport right now. We'll be back right here on Good Morning Football in just a little bit because we want to know about the Dez dispenser. What is going on with Dez Bryant? We will ask Jason.